is a story that came from one of my subscribers, Jada T. I want to thank you for sending the story that came out of uh, Channel 4, WWLTV.com, which is a CBS affiliate. Witnesses say woman who fell off cruise ship was fighting with her husband moments before fall. Okay, so I'm going to show you a picture and then I'm going to show you the video. But this was a swirler, as you can see. And the report says that she and her husband got into a fight on the ship and she went overboard. When swirling goes wrong, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. So let's go ahead and listen to this particular video. Make it a full screen. The Carnival Triumph is headed back out to sea, having left New Orleans within the last hour. It had returned earlier today, and as passengers disembarked, investigators went on board. They're looking into the death of Joanna Brooks, the 44-year-old woman from Lafayette who fell overboard this week. Kristen Pierce joins us live from the port with new information that had passengers talking. Kristen? Yeah, we have new information. We're learning more about what happened that night on the Carnival cruise ship. We're told a husband and wife were arguing at dinner and arguing in their room before the wife went overboard. Just a general feeling of sadness. What was supposed to be a relaxing vacation ended up in tragedy. 44-year-old Joanna Brooks of Lafayette was on board Carnival Triumph with her husband when she went overboard. It was the second night of a five-day cruise. You wonder what happened and uh, just don't know. But this is what we do know. Joanna went overboard this balcony Sunday night. The couple was staying in this room, which now has a blue X across the balcony. Passengers on board say Joanna and her husband Scott were at dinner when they started arguing. They tell us the argument got out of control and the two were escorted out by security. About 30 minutes later, Juana went overboard. It was scary. We actually, we were on the side, our balcony was on the side that she fell over. So after dinner, we actually went over to the balcony. We were kind of looking and seeing. So you saw the, um, they threw the life thing over, the life ring, and they had the searchlight going. So it was kind of, and a lot of people on our side were out in their balcony just looking and just really sad. <laughs> it was awful. We were basically sitting still in the uh, guff and just going around in circles turning around like the, you know, the ships do like that and everything. And uh, people were out on deck looking. The incident happened in the Gulf of Mexico. So Mexican authorities took over. They are searching for the body. Here at home, the FBI is investigating. Juana's family is heartbroken. She's going to come home. I mean, one way or the other, I want her to come home. And that's, that's mainly what I want right now. I text her up until they were at dinner, and that was my last. And coming up at six, we'll tell you what happened to the husband after his wife went missing. Reporting live from the Port of New Orleans, Kristen Pierce, Eyewitness News. Kristen, thank you. Uh, the Carnival Triumph. Well. You know, it just don't seem like it's much of a coincidence. I'm just wondering, he threw her butt overboard, you know, it, especially if they were in a heated argument to the point where they got thrown out of the dining area. That just doesn't seem right. I'm not going to really get into detail about the story because it goes over exactly what you heard in the video. But this just go to show you, it don't pay to swirl, y'all. <laughs> it just simply don't pay. Please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell twice. And also, um, come and join me over on Black Junction TV and Blackspot.com. Peace, family.